welcome to the video series that goes with the Happy Learn Haskell tutorial. This particular video is about setting up Haskell so you can follow along with our tutorial series. We're only going to see one way to set up Haskell. We're using a Mac, so if you have one, you can follow along. If you don't, let us know what operating system you do have in the comments section, and if we get enough interest, we'll try to do one for that too. In addition to a Mac, you'll also need an internet connection, and some ability to use what's called the terminal. The terminal is the Mac's name for the command line. This is just a way to use the computer through a kind of a text conversation where you type things into the computer. For example, here is the command to find out the list of files in the current directory. And the computer will print things back on the screen to you as a response. You can see when we said ls just then, it told us the list of files. That's his response. We have to use this because Haskell doesn't have a nicer programming environment at the moment that works with all computers. If you don't know how to use the terminal, again, let me know in the comments section and we'll create a video on basic terminal usage if there's enough interest. Essentially, the things you need to know on the command line are how to run commands, like ls, how to use and get around the file system with commands, for example, cd, and what the path is, how to copy files into system locations, and how to use cp and sudo, for example. We really hope it gets easier to set up and use Haskell in the future, but for now it's a little tricky, which is why we made this video. So let's get started on setup. We're going to see how to run and set up something called GHC. This is the name of the most popular compiler for Haskell at the moment. The Haskell compiler is the program that understands Haskell and can turn our Haskell code into a program that the computer can execute. To set up GHC, we're going to use an installation manager program called Stack. So, the first thing we need to do is download and install Stack. So, go to your browser, I'm using Safari, and open a new window. Go to www.haskellstack.org. and press enter. Go down to where it says Mac OS under how to install and click on it. Now they give us two main ways to install stack. We're going to do the manual download way because the other way doesn't work sometimes. So click on Mac OS X 64-bit under latest release and it will start downloading. This will take a little while. OK, so when it's finished downloading, we're going to find the file, and I'm going to be using the download list in Safari, and then we'll decompress it, which you do by double clicking on the Mac. So this will create a folder, and we'll go into this and put the stack command that it's, that's contained within it into our path somewhere. So we recommend user local bin stack. The stack command is this one. So here we'll do this by using cd into that folder using drag and drop into the command line. We can get it to paste in the location of a folder and then we'll use sudo cp for copying that stack file into the user local bin folder. We'll need to type in our administrator password and then that'll be copied into the right location. To verify that it's copied we can type which stack which will tell us the location on the path of the stack command. So this tells us that the location of the stack command is in user local bin which is where we just copied it to. We suggest using the Atom text editor as a pretty good free text editor for writing Haskell code with, and this can be done by going to atom.io and downloading it from the browser. You can just click this button, wait until it downloads, and then install it by dragging the application into your applications folder. In our next video, we'll explain a bit more about this course and why we think you should use it. Please go ahead and take a look at our book at 
dot happy learn Haskell tutorial dot com. And if you can afford to, please do purchase a copy. You'll be supporting our work on this project, and we really do hope you've enjoyed this. Comment, rate, and subscribe below.